Next we're going to talk about on how you can build an actual bumblebee house in order for when the queen comes out after she's been hibernating for the winter to find herself a nice dry place in order for her to set up shop and make her her new hive, her, her new army so to speak to go out and get the pollen. This structure right here is something that we have supplied to farmers. It's a wooden box with a small tube right here to provide access to the dried out area. And inside the box we have taken chicken wire and made a nice little nesting area and wrapped it in a fabric that's a natural fabric. You do not want to use anything like polyester or any type of synthetic fabric because that's something the bees would not like to start their nest on. Now this is a structure like I said that we've made for farmers and given out to them. However, we've actually developed a way a more economical way, considering that takes a lot of time and energy and resources in order to put together. So I'm going to show you how to make a really cheap bumblebee house. First thing you want to do is provide a well insulated area so that the cold from the ground doesn't come up too much and cause the bees not to want to nest here. So in this case I put straw down around the ground. You want a flat area below a tree on a forest edge facing south and make sure that it drains really well because they won't come to a really damp area. Next you take the little nest that we talked about earlier and you place it down on the ground. In this case you're going to take a clay pot and place it over the top. Now you want to make sure that the rain and the elements don't come in and cause the bees not to want to stay there. In this case we're going to take some rocks Place them like this, and then like this to provide a roof for your nest. Finally, you want to take a really heavy, heavy substrate, something similar to like a brick or a piece of stone or anything that's natural around that you really don't need. And you're going to place it on the roof here in order to make sure it stays on there really really securely. Now what you've done is you mimicked a old rodent's nest and from here what you're going to do is you're going to try to blend it into nature and make it look like a really mess of twigs and branches and natural materials. So that's what we're going to do now. Now you got your, your house all insulated up and kind of making it look like a, a big mess and just use whatever natural things you got laying around. Sticks, straw, leaves, any type of natural material. And the last thing you want to do is at about head level above the tree you want to start painting it. In this case you want to paint a purple, a blue, a white, or a yellow. And what you're doing here is the bee is going to come out, the queen, and she's going to come out and she's going to be looking for food. She's looking for, for flowers that are this color. And what you're doing is you're basically giving her something to find, but she's not going to find food. You're hoping that she finds a nice cozy place to take up residence. Also, later on when the bees go out to forage, the brood, this will provide them like a, a, a signal for them to return home to. So they'll be looking, where's home, where's home, and they'll find this and they'll say, oh, I remember that. That's home.
The last thing we want to talk about with the bumblebee nest is maintenance. All right. So the bumblebees come out during the spring and they've taken up shop. You don't want to mess with this structure the whole summer, the whole fall. You don't want to come out and find out if the bumblebees have been in it. You don't want to move it. You don't want to mess with it at all. But come November when they're going to be hibernating, that's the time you can do your maintenance. Or even February, November to February. So you come out here, you take the whole structure down, you take off the top, you replace the, the cloth that we put over the uh, chicken wire nest, and we put it back. The only way that you're going to know if bumblebees have been in it or not, it's going to look like a big mess of chewed cud. All kinds of mess inside of the, of the structure. And if you don't get anything the first year, you just need to remember that, according to recent studies, one out of three of these nests that you'll put out will get populated throughout the year. So the more you put out, the better your chances of getting yourself a bumblebee colony to move into your property.